Do you want to see some shotguns? Turok Evolution. This shotgun is completely reinvented and is fun to shoot. Not a looker though, that texture work is an eyesore. Good shot impacts and dismemberment here. The sound effects are too lo-fi however. The quad barrel mod descends from the multiplayer only Rage Wars and lets you chamber up to four shots ready for one big punch. It's very satisfying when you get it right. No One Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way. The combat shotgun here has a great rate of fire, but the pump animation obscures your view so it's not clear what you're hitting sometimes, especially at medium ranges where this thing seems to evaporate. Incendiary rounds are a nice alternative too, although their effect seems to vary. Time Split is 2. The tactical 12 gauge looks commanding and has a good overall feel in combat. The shot sound is still way off in my opinion. They still didn't bother with hand animations either, so it looks goofy. Rapid double shot alt fire adds a bit more tactical play. Impacts on enemies are beautifully animated and responsive too. The double barrel shotgun is not a lot different from Time Splitters 1. Its very narrow shot spread bugs me though. It doesn't fit this style of shotgun. Dual wielding makes up for this a little bit, and I do love that snap to the reload animation. Red Faction 2. I want to like this futuristic dual ammo shotgun, but it's just not that fun due to terrible hit detection. Even with a high rate of fire, it's never satisfying to shoot. That 17% screen coverage is too big also. Its flaming alt fire is neat when it works, but everything feels unfinished. Iron Storm. This is a likeable shooter plagued by a subpar engine. The shotgun here looks very basic but packs a decent punch. Enemies don't have the range of reactions or quality animation to make this satisfying however. Environment impacts don't impress much either. Mace Griffin, Bounty Hunter. No visual and audible feedback when shooting enemies. This is criminal. It's completely bizarre to shoot your targets as you don't get rewarded for landing each hit. It's like shooting thin air and it does my head right in. Did you hear that? I also fixed the horrendous 55 degree field of view it ships with for these videos. The gun in isolation is good, but everything around it is trash. Unreal 2, The Awakening. The M700 12 gauge is a nice shotgun let down only by its subpar aesthetics. It looks like junk, but it does everything else really well. Nice flammable alt fire too, although it doesn't seem to hinder the enemies that much. Will Rock. A shotgun that is so devoid of fun, it's hard to put into words. It's well below par in many categories. 
The game is a shameless Serious Sam ripoff, executed so badly, I'm wondering if Ubisoft gave this project solely to the interns. Unsupervised interns at that. This assault rifle will be a good complement to the compression rifle. It's more powerful at short range. Thanks. The primary attack is a spread plasma burst. The secondary attack is a powerful single shot, which can do extensive collateral damage. Thanks, Worf, or whoever you are. Never thought a Star Trek game would produce a mean shotgun, but here it is. Alt Fire is a great sci-fi blast too. That's all for this episode. See you in the next one. Hit subscribe for more. Hmm, I love it.